The magic that was sealing the door is fading away now. You can try to chase them, but the Clavis is halfway back to Luxarian now, safe in the Order's hands. Light, there's really no need to panic yet, though. They can't complete such a complicated ceremony on any day they choose. It'll have to be on a specific day, the final day. I learned about the Soul Song, the real truth of it, back when I was with the Order in Luxurian. They wanted us to think it was this great thing, gonna save the dead. But then I learned that it would kill Vanille. Why didn't you try to run away together? I wanted to. Believe me, I tried reason, guilt, even brute force. But Vanille, well, she wouldn't give an inch. She said she was going to do it, whether it killed her or not. This is still about her trying to atone for the past. Uh, even the power she has to hear the dead. She thinks it's God trying to punish her. It's been real, Lightning. But now, it's time to go our separate ways. <laughs> Got it. Hey, next time I'm in the desert... You won't see me. The gang's officially disbanded. I've got somewhere else I need to be. Sounds like we have a date in Luxarian. Good luck, Fang. See you at the end of the world. I was told that night is safe in the desert. Oh, damn it. It was all my fault. I know you. You're that new band that everyone's talking about, aren't you? Well, I don't listen to rumors. Ooh, look at Little Miss Antisocial. Well, I'm Jameis, former bandit. Former? Sure, now I'm just a useless sponge soaked in booze. I drink a whole ocean of chaos if it drown my sorrows. I've been away from the desert for a while now, but I came right back when I heard about you, girly. <laughs> and what do I have to do with anything? Sit back and let me tell you the tale about my days as a greedy bandit. I'd do anything. I'd pick a ruin clean and then go right back out for more. Even someone like me had a family. We may not have been related by blood, but my kids loved me like I was the greatest. But 156 years ago, on a day I can't forget, a day I don't want to remember! Then don't. No one's asking you to. Hold on, please. I've come all this way. At least hear me out. That day I had taken the kids with me to the ruins. It was just a regular day of exploration. Until those Damn skeletons appeared! There wasn't time to get the kids away. The only ones who survived. Was you. So you've been blaming yourself and plotting your vengeance? Is that it? <laughs> you overestimate a drunk like me. You think a washed up loser like me has the guts to seek vengeance? I just turned tail and ran away straight into a bottle. All I could do was hate those skeletons from afar. Yet you came back to the desert now. All because you heard about me joining the gang? I did. You managed to open the seals that no one else has been able to do a thing about. When I heard that, I knew that if anyone could help me, it was you. So I came back. I've got to ask you a favor. I know you don't owe me a thing, but you're the only one I can ask. I'll get down and beg you. Just please. Please, destroy every last one of those skeleton bastards. Wipe them off the face of the world. I'll never rest easy until I know that they're gone! You couldn't save the children, but you think this might help? I know it's too much to ask a stranger. I can't give you much in return, but... Never mind that. It won't be easy, though. You'd better be ready for a wait. I'll repay you somehow for this. I'll wait however long it takes. It'll be nothing compared to the past 156 years. airship? Originally. Now it looks as though it's someone's home. Saz? Leave us alone. What are you doing here? Dosh? Is he asleep? Yeah. He's been like that for centuries. Silent as death. Ever since the chaos came and destroyed everything. His body's still alive, but his soul... 
It's not in there. What's that? It's a coffer of souls. If I can collect enough soul fragments, Dodge will wake up. At least that's what I was told. Yeah, it'd just be a lie, though. Who gave it to you? Lumina. Enough talk. I, um, I gotta look after my son. Hope, you've got to be able to find something about Dodge's condition. Saz is... I can't let him go through this. I know, Lightning. I was listening, too. I'll look into it. It's difficult to say what exactly is wrong with Dodge. Physically, he seems fine, but I detect no mental activity. Not even dreams. It's as if... It's as if he's in a coma. He's just not in there. I don't even know if the coffer of souls that Lumina gave Saz can really help him. But poor Saz will do anything if it might bring Dodge back. Even searching for soul fragments. I want to do something to help, but I don't know where to start. I should have pushed Saz to tell me more, but the state he was in, he might not have been able to. My goodness me, if it isn't the savior. Fancy meeting you here. Don't go acting all sweet and innocent, Lumina. I know it's no coincidence that you're here. Oh, so you think that I'm lurking around here, hiding poor little Daja's soul. Is that it? Something like that. Nope. Though you're right that it's no coincidence. I'm here because I've been keeping an eye on you. I'm just so worried about whether you'll be able to save Saz. Save Saz? What about Daj? Whatever. You can save both, if you'd really like. But you must have noticed that dear daddy's soul is getting crushed, right, savior? You see that old husk of an airship over there? There's a grumpy old guy who lives there. I'd keep your distance if I were you. He almost never comes out. Just stays holed up in there. What does he eat? That's what I want to know. He didn't used to get any visitors, but lately I've seen some young girl coming and going. Everyone is very... I want to thank you on behalf of Canopus Farms. Why would they be excited? According to your own legends, it's an evil omen. Aye, uh, that's true enough. Some people even call it the Harbinger of Death. But even so, we don't fear it. We already know this world is about to be swallowed up by the chaos. But the thing is, when that happens, we believe that we'll be reunited with our loved ones who passed before. The end will be terrible, but there's hope on the other side. So that's the Wildlands religion. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go so far as to call it a religion, but yeah, we don't follow the city folk beliefs. They think that a messenger from God called the Savior will appear out of nowhere. Then this Savior is going to take them to a new promised land. Now, I'm not one to judge other people's beliefs, but personally, it just sounds like wishful thinking. But then, I suppose the folk praying in the Order's churches don't put much stock in our beliefs either. That's fine with me. I've always said everyone's entitled to believe what they want. I just hope everyone gets what they're looking for in the end. And for us? That just means being with our families again. Chukobokalina! So I hear you ran into old Sazzy again. How is he? Not great. Not great at all. He's so focused on this one thing, he can barely think about anything else. Well, he has a right to be. Daj has been asleep for centuries. You can tell, can't you, that I'm terribly worried about them too. I wish I could help, but he would never ever ask me to. And sadly, he'd never let me. I heard the reason Daj can't wake up is because his soul has left his body. Is that true? It is. And not only that, it's been shattered into five fragments and scattered all over the world. That's what Saz is working so hard to collect, the fragments. So, when all five pieces are located, will he wake up? Yes, indeedy. Oh, you also need a coffer of souls, but I think Saz already has one. Lucky for you. 
The one and only way you can help him is to find all five fragments. What a wonderful present that would make. Thanks for telling me all this. I don't think I could have dragged this out of Saz. Not the way he is now. I'm just happy to be of help. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I've already found one of the fragments all by myself. It's the one called the Smile Fragment. I know it's something that Saz needs, but it's not really an item per se. So, I can't give it to you to give to him on my behalf. How do you propose you get it to him then? With this magically spectacular canvas of prayers. Take a look and you'll find what you need. Come on now, time's a-wasting. Are you busy? Very busy, Kupo. Kupo, Kupo. Kupo, Kupo. Deep in the forest, I stumbled onto a small village. The last home of the Mughals. I was just in time. Their peaceful lives were about to be shattered by a terrible menace. You mean them? Yes, Kubo. Terrible beasts they are. They must find us poor Mughals, Kubo. Ow, ow. And now they know where you live. Light, you did it. You got rid of the monsters that were terrorizing the Mughals. That ought to be a weight off their minds. You should let them know right away. What's all the noise for, Koopo? Some of us enjoy a little peace. <laughs> it's the sheep, Koopo! The Grand Poopa, Koopo! Where have you been, Koopo? You... You can't really be. You're still alive? Mog, it really is you, isn't it? Koopo, Koopo! Uh, lightning! What? Hey, come back! Mog, it is you, isn't it? Who's Mog, Koopo? What are you playing at? Is it that terrible having to see me again? No, Koopo, I swear! Then turn around. Mog. Mog does not deserve to look lightning in the eye, Koopo. Oh. Because Mog couldn't protect Sarah, Koopo. And so... Mog. Koopo! I'm glad you're alright. I was worried about you. I know what you're feeling. You've shed a lot of tears for Sarah, haven't you? Koopo. But blaming yourself for what happened is just gonna make her sad. You know that. Sarah's gone, Koopo. Gone forever. Her soul is still out there. Huh? And I promise you, I'm going to bring her back. R really Koopo? Really. So listen, I need a very important favor from you. Koopo. Popo? There's a chance that I won't be around to meet her when she returns. I'm gonna try not to let that happen. But if it does, I want you to be there instead. She'll need someone she knows and loves waiting for her. That's more like... 
like the old mug. Don't give up. Things are going to get better. started searching for them already? Where did they go missing? I don't know, Kupo, but they are not brave. I don't think they would venture out of the forest, Kupo. Well, I suppose that narrows it down. But how can a Moogle get lost in the first place? You can all fly, right? Just take to the air, and you can find the trail from above. You're exactly right! That's a great idea, Kupo! Why didn't any of us think of that before? We always flutter close to the ground, Kupo. To soar in the sky, I scarce imagine it. Really? Seems like common sense to me. You can fly that high, right? Of course, Kupo. It's just scary to go too high. Ah, uh, never mind. Anyway, I'll look for your friends. You will? Oh, thank you, Kupo. You should search at night, Kupo. In the day, they will be hidden away, Kupo. All right, got it. Find them before sunrise. Found you. You're one of the lost Moogles, aren't you? It's true. I want to go home, but I don't know the way, Kupo. If you flew up above the treetops, you'd be able to find your village easily enough. Above the treetops, Kupo? <laughs> what a splendiferous plan, Kupo. Except I'm afraid of heights, Kupo. It's all right. I'll give you a hand. Nice one, Lightning. You threw that Moogle much further than Sarah ever did. Did I overdo it? Huh. He's fine. I made a quick calculation based on his speed and trajectory, and he should land in the center of the village. Oh, I can't go on, Kubo. Oh, excuse me, kind lady. Can I ask you a question? Do you know which way it is to the Moogle village, Kubo? Leave it to me. I'll get you home. What are you? Koopa! My sky is pretty, Koopa. Have you come to take me to the heavens, Koopa? This is the end for me, Koopa. I've come for you, all right, but trust me, this isn't the end of anything. Koopa? Will you turn me into a star? I'll get you home. Faster than you think. That's all three Moogles safely home! Thanks to the Savior, Koopo! You three caused a lot of trouble. Where did you go and why, Koopo? Koopo! Koopo! Don't you recall? Four of us went into the woods that day! Yes, Koopo, but then suddenly you told us to stay and wait, Koopo. So all three of us did just that, Koopo. Ah, yes, Koopo, it was the honey. I smelled it on the breeze and went ahead to look for the bees. We waited like you said, Koopo. Ten long days, Koopo, but you never came back. So, Moogle, where did you disappear to? Did you find the honey? Ah, I remember it all now, Koopo. I, um... What happened? A terrible monster appeared out of the trees, and I fled back to my village, Kubo. The fright it gave me made me forget my friends. It was my fault they were lost, Kubo. <sighs> well, it sure was. Oh, mighty savior, I'm so 
so sorry, Kubo, for all the trouble I've caused. I suppose I must be punished, Kubo. Or maybe I've been punished enough already, Kubo. Just apologize to your three friends here, and then make sure it doesn't happen again. If any more of your brothers go missing, you're gonna have to find them. From high up in the sky where I throw you. Got it? Please, not the sky, Kubo! Have mercy, Kubo! I'll not let my brothers go astray again, Kubo! I'll watch them with eagle eyes, Kubo! You that rules over all life. Yggdrasil. Nice work, Light. Samog was alive after all, and he's been living together with the other Moogles. I'm really happy for him. Listen, when the final day arrives, Fang is going to try to save Vanil. I'm sure of it. And what about you? Will you try to stop Vanille? Stop the Soul Song? You know it's God's will that it takes place. Have you forgotten he's holding my sister hostage? The promise of her return, anyway. I've got to do what he wants, or else... Interesting answer. Some people might take that to mean, if it wasn't for the threat, you would consider defying him. Some people might? What about you? Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. I'm sorry, Light. I didn't mean to sound like I don't. I'll always be on your side, even if you do decide to turn against God. You know that. That wasn't very nice, now was it? What you did to poor Mog? It looked like it hurt. I couldn't help it. I just reacted out of instinct. I don't go in for people hugging me or Moogles, even if I'm glad to see them. I think you actually enjoyed the hug. You just lashed out to cover your embarrassment. Am I right? Hope, you better drop it. You're treading on dangerous ground now. What do you want now? I've come to help you remember what you've lost. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about, okay? You woke up from your crystal sleep with God's voice in your ear. He said you had to be the savior. But part of what made you lightning was missing. Leaving a big empty hole in your heart. Yeah. That's how it feels. It's like I've forgotten something important, something that I need. Huh? Really? I thought you'd deny it. But it's okay. I'll help you remember. Indestructible crystal. Even in the sea of chaos, it never loses its shine. I will become an eternal epitaph. Your memory will survive for eternity within a crystal tomb. This shall be my legacy, and my atonement. But most of all, my final hope. You wanted to protect her, so you fell into that crystal sleep. You became a tomb for a memory, a moment frozen in time, with Sarah's soul cocooned inside. So tell me, Lightning, where do you think Sarah is now? Yes. I remember now. She was there, in my heart. I had her memories. They were inside me. I took them into the crystal. She was with me then. We should have been together the whole time. Right. Now you're catching on. So, the hole in your heart? Sarah's soul. That's 
what I'm missing. And you know who took it out, don't you? Benavelza did when he woke you up to do his bidding. He must have messed with your memories, too, and tried to make you forget about it. And so he had the perfect motivation. Or should I say, hostage. He's gonna hold on to her until I've done what he wants. Oh, I don't know if he thought it out that far. He's not very good with human emotions, that god of yours. Maybe he just threw her soul away and let it be swallowed up by the chaos. But he promised me. He said as long as I did what I was told, he'd bring Sarah back to me. If he lied, then I don't care if he is a god. I'll destroy, destroy him. him. <laughs> now that's more like the old lightning. But do you really think you can take on a god? Well, I wouldn't bet against me. I might have found a way to shut him down. A last resort if all else fails. <laughs> You've been brewing up contingency plans. Sneaky, Lightning. Very sneaky. I haven't made up my mind yet. This world is finished. Soon it'll be gone forever. And Benevelza is the only one who can build us a new one. When he's done, then I'll decide. So you'll play his game for as long as it takes to build the new world. Then you'll sit in judgment on him, you'll betray him and destroy him and steal the new world he labored to build. Is that your plan? I love it. Turning on God and making him a pawn in your own game. It's audacious. Oh, but little Hope is going to be so disappointed. He really does trust you, you know. And you're going to betray him. Oh, you did think about that, didn't you? You turn on God, you turn on Hope. Are you ready for that? Do you have it in you to fight him? Are you really prepared to kill Hope? <laughs> you think I'm not? You answered a question with a question. That's an evasion. <laughs> Got ya. But it's not a big deal. It looks like Hope and talks like Hope, but it isn't Hope anymore. Are you saying he's a fake? Sorry, but the only fake I know is Sarah. <sighs> Look, if you're gonna talk nonsense, this conversation is over. I've got better things to do. Fine, Lightning. Let me make it all clear. Look around you and see the lies. The Sarah you talk to is a lie. Hope in his arc is a lie. How long is it going to take before you wake up? Before you realize that maybe, just maybe, you're a lie too. <laughs> so, we meet again, Savior. Uh, not by choice. Oh, excuse me. I had no idea. You are so subtle. Just one hint, though. Go see that Chocoboco chick. She asked you to save Saz, didn't she? It's no wonder. She can't help worrying about him. So, how do they know each other? Oh, and here I just assumed you knew. Well, I guess you'll understand when you get all the soul fragments. Didn't she tell you that she'd run straight to Sass's place when that happens? You got them, didn't you? The soul fragments for Dodge? You're the one who gave Sass the coffer. You started this wild goose chase. Wild goose chase? Sass was suffering. I felt sorry for him. You should know how he feels, wanting to be reunited with the last bit of family he has. Right, Lightning? Right. Because I lost Sarah, huh? Exactly. Though it's not the same thing. I'm afraid that a coffer of souls won't save Sarah. Too bad. You'll just have to figure out how to save her for yourself, huh? That's what I'm planning to do. I don't need anyone's help. Especially not yours. You again? It seems you can't get the thrill of the arena out of your system. Am I right? The curtain is about to go up! It's time for the challenger to take the stage!
fine performance indeed. I'd welcome a star like you any night. Good day to you! Don't sneak up on me. What do you want now? Aren't you worried about Saz? Don't you feel like you've just got to do anything to help him? I'm concerned if that's what you mean. There's my savior! Oh, poor old Saz. He hasn't had anything to smile about in forever. I really want to make him happy again. You know, I stop by his house from time to time to check on him. I don't believe you for a second. As if someone like you would be worried for him. Ouch, that hurts, you know. I've been working my butt off for him. Do you know how hard it was for me to find that coffer of souls for Saz? What kind of gratitude? Tell me the truth. Can that thing really help Dodge? Saz has put all his hope in that box. It would be cruel if that were a lie. Oh, so now you don't think I'm cruel? Light, you've got all five soul fragments you needed to find for Dodge. You should head to Saz's place at once. I'd like to think this will help Dodge. But this is Lumina we're talking about. It may be best not to get your hopes up. But for Saz, this is his last and only hope. He can't even smile anymore. He's got nothing left in him. If I take this away too, he may not survive. I don't know if I could take that. Hey Saz, get out that coffer you have. I've got all five of the soul fragments for Daj. You serious? I searched the whole damn world of what's left of it and never found a single one of them. You... you found them for me, Lightning. <sighs> Thank you for this. You saved my son for me. That Chocobo, it wasn't here before, was it? <laughs> yeah, she'd up and left us in a lurch. Dodge's little Chocolina. Didn't even notice when she snuck back in. Chocolina? Never mind that. What about Dodge? The Coffer of Souls is right there, so drop in those soul fragments. Nice and gentle. Lumina said, once they're put in that box, they'll become one again. You do that, and I'll take care of whatever comes next. Open the box, and the soul should go back to Dodge all in one piece. Where it belongs. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> what the? <clears throat> What's wrong with this thing? <sighs> Damn box won't open. Hello, hello. Ah, why doesn't this thing work? I got Dodge's soul back, didn't I? Hmm. His soul is reborn, but his heart shut away tight. Little Dodge is frightened and doesn't want to come out. It's your scary face. My face? Ah, uh, what am I supposed to do about that? It's the only one I've got. Hell with that. Hey, Dodge, Dodge, can you hear me in there? You're messing with your old man, right? Tell her, son, you're not frightening me. Come on, Dodge, wake up, Dodge, Dodge. <sighs> ah, son, Dodge. Huh? Now what are you on? Quit it or I'll stick you in a cage. Stop flapping around. Leave me alone, I'm busy. Look, sit there and shut your beak, will you? Ow! Hey, that hurts! What was that for? Ah, uh, ouch! Hey, that seriously hurts! Ah, blasted fluff ball! Huh? What? Cool it, will you? What's gotten into that pea brain of yours? Uh, all right, all right. It's the way all right. you look. You too? Damn, the whole world's got it in for my face. Saz, I'm serious. You should see yourself. You're scowling all the time, like you want to scream at someone. Is that right? Scary face, huh? So that's what you mean. Uh, I've been wrapped up in my own anger. I didn't think about what I must look like to dodge. I used to be different. No matter how tough the going got, could always figure out a way to smile. And let dodge know it was okay. Yeah, it's something a father's got to learn to do. <sighs> I've been doing it all wrong, but that ends now. Dodge, remember that game we used to play? Hmm. 
Pilots, are you ready? This space race is gonna decide who's the fastest air jockey in all the pulse. And blast off! Whoa, Chocobo and Airship are neck and neck. Who's gonna crack first? Zoom! I'm Saz Catroy bringing you the race of the century, together with Supersonic Dodge. Hey, Dodge, you awake? Come on, Supersonic. Gonna miss the race. Here, open your eyes. Your dad's here. Whoops. Oh, oh. Hey, are you okay? Huh? Ah, <laughs> you're all right. Sorry about that. Guess I got too caught up in the space race. Again. You survived another day. When I see Saz with his son Dodge, I'm reminded of my own father. Though he wasn't anything like Saz at all. He was a hard, strict man. Or so I always thought. Even if we cannot truly see them, I know that souls must exist in some form. How else can we explain what happened back on the wrecked ship between Saz and his son? God is not omniscient. He cannot see into the hearts of people. To him, emotions are a mystery. Only humans can truly know their secrets. Of course, there are many times when humans misread each other too. Like me and my father. For the longest time, we didn't understand each other. I met Lumina again. You mean, the girl who walks in the chaos? That would explain the chaos readings I picked up in the Ark. She brings the chaos with her. Light... There's something that bothers me about that girl. Perhaps you've noticed it as well. You mean how she looks just like Sarah at that age? So you think so too. They're so alike. I can't help thinking that it really is her, in some way. She may look like Sarah, but it's not her. Lumina's just too different. And she really rubs me the wrong way. Maybe she's not that bad. Just that her behavior seems all the worse when she looks so much like your sister. In any case, for now, Lumina's real identity will remain a mystery. All we can say for sure is you and her don't get along. There you are. Welcome home. What's wrong? Nothing. Just things on my mind. Don't worry about it. I can't help but worry. We're finally getting the chance to talk, but you don't seem happy. It's like you don't even know how to smile anymore. Her 
Right now, this is the best I can do. Not that I was ever good at it. It's okay. I can make you smile again. You just have to go back to the days when the future still looked bright. When was that? Back before we made all those mistakes. Before we started messing around with gods and fell sea. We thought it was our destiny to fight for the world and the future. But all those battles, all those struggles, they didn't mean anything in the end. Was it all a mistake? Even the journey you went on with me? Well, what else would you call it? We risked everything, but in the end we couldn't save the future and I died. If that's not a mistake, what is? That's why I have to get rid of it. Throw it all away. It didn't mean a thing. It's done and gone. No regrets, just a clean slate. We're going to have a new world, and you and I will be just like we used to be way back when. Listen, Sarah. Let me say this. If that journey was a mistake, I'm the one who has to bear the blame. Because I sent you. It's me who has to pay the price. All you did was try your best. There's nothing wrong with that. It didn't turn out like I'd hoped, but it wasn't a mistake. You tried to do something that was good and right. You must never throw that away. Maybe. But I... I don't want to remember it again. I just want to forget it all. Right. When she said that, I didn't believe her. She'd always been able to accept hardship, fight through it, and be stronger for it. Luminous words came back to me. She said the only fake I know is Sarah. No, that couldn't be right. The problem was in me, making me doubt her. But it was no good. The terrible thought had formed in my mind. The seed was planted. What if this Sarah was fake? And my memories of her too. The Chaos readings, they suddenly shot through the roof. Perhaps the Chaos is even reaching the Ark now. I saw her again. My sister. It looks like God might keep his promise and bring my sister back. She'll be a new Sarah. New? What do you mean by that? Are you saying that when he resurrects Sarah, it will be a different person? Like, a fake? No, that's not it at all. I just mean, if she's going to be born again, she'll be a new version of her old self. I don't think you're being straight with me, are you? You don't think the Sarah you met is the real thing. Do you? You think that there's something missing? It's all right. You don't have to say anything. The truth is plain enough to see. Since I came here, I haven't been good at reading people, but I've been practicing on you. But don't worry, I'm on your side. Yours and Sarah's. You know that, right? You only agreed to become the savior because it was your only chance to save Sarah. And that means God has a hold on you. But if the Sarah he's showing you isn't real, then that control he has disappears. He has no hostage. Finally! It's rude to keep people waiting. This girl, she's got something she wants to ask. What girl? Are you talking about that shadow? Yep, and guess what? It's someone you know. Okay, you can come out. <sighs> Yule, 
There are people here. They want to see you. All your friends! Huh? Hold on. What's going on? Oh, did you see that? They want to lend a helping hand, but you're too far. Even though they know what you're really feeling, what you need, they can't do anything for you. I'm not looking for help from anybody. Of course you aren't. You're God's handpicked savior, right? You don't need friends, or even family. That's why you can't find Sarah anymore. <sighs> Whatever. Listen, you are the savior. You must gather the souls that still walk upon this dying world and lead them to a new world of salvation. But your sister's soul is invisible to you. And if you cannot see her, you cannot save her. You must ask yourself, if it means saving Sarah, will you fight God? One human does not have the power to defeat Benevelza. He is all-powerful. Then I'll find another power. Something beyond me, whatever it takes, even if it kills me as well. You cannot save anyone. Not even Sarah. Not as you are. Because first, you have to save yourself. You should listen to her. She always tells the truth. Right. Not like you. But... She's telling me that I'm missing something. Well, yeah. Haven't you figured it out? Ugh. I swear, sometimes I lose my faith in you. You don't even know the first thing about your own soul, but you think you can fight God himself. I don't think I've ever met anyone so dense. If you know it all, then tell me. What is it I'm missing? <sighs> it doesn't work like that. It doesn't mean a thing if you can't figure it out on your own. <sighs> I have to save myself. But how? said I'm fine. Now just drop it, alright? If you're sure. But you will tell me if something is wrong, won't you, Light? Rains. That was once a man's name, but now it means nothing. His soul has dissolved into the swirl of chaos. I take his form as a convenience, but I'm no more than a puppet. All right, so who's pulling your strings, Benevelza? No, not God. I am the voice of many, of the countless multitude who call chaos home. I am the speaker for the dead. Tell me, Savior, do you know the ritual they call Soul Song? Vanille is planning to perform it at the Cathedral. She says it'll release the dead from their suffering. I guess that means you. Vanille has been misled. There is a truth she cannot see. A truth that lies within the Unseen Realm. What do you mean? What truth? You do not understand the role of Chaos. The chaos will drown this world, but it's also the key to our humanity. When we die, we return to it. But only for a short time. When a man dies, his soul melts into the chaos, 
but the idea of it, of him, survives intact. And then he is reborn anew and returns to the living world. An unseen power exists in all of us. It's the chaos that we carry in our hearts. Our souls are made out of the chaos, which is why they return to it when we die. But they survive there, waiting for a new body, which means you could be reborn in the new world. If the Sacred One shows us the way, she is the only one who can tell us what to do. She has the power to guide us into the future where we can live again. She can do what I can't. Vanille can bring salvation to the dead. Yes, but she doesn't know what she is capable of. The Order has kept the truth from her. Why would they lie to her? They preach salvation. Only for the living. The Soul Song will destroy us and make you forget we ever existed. Murder on a grand scale. You want me to stop her, right? Yes. And then you must tell her what her real power is, so she can lead us to salvation. Is this what you all want? It is, but it is not God's will. If you answer our prayer, it will mean defying Bonavelza. Those who try to defy the gods end up controlled by them and are destroyed in the end. Like Sid Reigns. I remember. Reigns fought for humanity and he was killed for it. But the spirit that drove him to stand up to the tyranny of the gods didn't die. I kept it with me. Chaos is in all of us. It's the stuff our souls are made of. And it's the reason that the dead live on in our hearts and minds. Yes. The chaos unites humanity, a thread woven through all our lives, and it's a power God cannot see. Its potential is limitless, and that makes it more powerful than he is. But now you're gonna tell me that it's nearly impossible to tap into, am I right? Yet it is possible. No one can control the chaos. If you want to make the power yours, you must have the help of those who are inside it. You know what needs to be done. You know whose soul you have to find. You mean Sarah? Are you saying I'll be able to reach her? You must. With the chaos, anything is possible. Find the invisible bonds that unite us across life and death. Do that, and you will have all the power you need. It was the key to defeating God. If I wanted to use it, I needed Sarah's help. But Sarah, how can I make you hear me? I reach out with every fiber of my being, but is it enough? Can I do more? If I throw myself into the abyss, if I cry out to you, will you hear me, Sarah? Will you answer? Light, the end is almost here. One more day, and then the destruction of the world will be complete. Right. And there's no way I can delay it any longer. No. This is it. You can still carry out your mission as the savior, but today is your last chance. Tomorrow in the cathedral, Vanille will perform the soul song for the Order. The final rites. When the souls of the dead will be released from their torment and returned to oblivion. And when the clock strikes the hour, It'll mark the end of everything. It's an ending that not even God has the power to stop. Hope, tell me something. You said that the souls of the dead return to the chaos, right? If that's true, then that's where Sarah must be. Her soul is lost out there in the chaos somewhere. For God, the chaos is an unseen realm. He cannot see inside. And so it follows that he doesn't have the power to find her, as long as she is in the chaos. But he can do something else. He can make her anew. But then how can she be the real Sarah? The one I know? Well, don't you trust him? 
It's true that even with all his power, God cannot extract Sarah's soul from the chaos. But there is another place he might find it. He could take her soul from inside of you. How would... You're just making things up now. You always found it hard to trust people. What chance does God have? Look, I'm not saying you will. But if you do decide to turn against him, you should know that I'll always stand with you. You trust me, don't you? It just seems like the more I search, the further away I get from finding her. I've encountered more than a few ghosts from the past now, talked to souls from the chaos even, but I'm still no closer to finding Sarah. Not even a hint. I don't know, but perhaps you've done everything you can. Maybe you could have found her already, but something is keeping her from talking to you. Like she doesn't want to see me? Is that what you're saying? Of course I don't think that's the case. But it's possible. Perhaps it's because you're too close to each other. You mean she's out there and can talk to other people? but not me. Tell you what, why don't you go out there and look for her in my place? I'd like to help, Light, but I can't leave the Ark. How about this? If I happen to die before you do, for whatever reason, I'll make you a promise. I'll try to find her in the chaos. And when I do, I'll find some way for you two to be together again. feels like the end now. Soon it'll be over. It's been dying for 500 years. I wasn't talking about the world. Then what? Never mind. Time is short. Every minute's precious now. Let's not waste any. This final day, please hear my last prayer. Light. Hope. I've come to say goodbye. How? Did you... It's too late for me now. I had a job. That was God's eyes and ears. Made to watch over everything you did. But now the last day is here. And God doesn't need me anymore. I'll just... disappear. God just doesn't like leaving loose ends. This was always his plan. Bonavelza, he's going to just cast you aside? It's his way. It's harder than I thought it would be, but he still needs you, and you can help the others. Will you do that for me? Vanille intends to go through with the soul song and throw her life away. But she won't be the only one who dies. That ceremony is going to destroy all those souls, yet she has the power to lead them to the new world. Yes. She doesn't know what she is, or what she can do. You have to tell her. I know her. As long as she knows the truth, she'll do the right thing. And then, you'll have a choice to make too. It'll be your only chance to save Sarah. I've got to find her soul if I want to save her. And the truth is, I just can't feel her anymore. <sighs> It'll be alright. Trust me. She can see you, and she's been watching over you. When you make the right choice, you'll find her again. The right choice? <sighs> Tough call for someone who can't stop repeating past mistakes. It'll be easy. You just have to imagine what kind of world Sarah would want. What kind of person she wants you to be. Do that, and the answer will be clear. <sighs> But that's the problem, don't you see? Maybe once I knew her well enough to know what she would want. Something's happened to my soul. I can't see people's hearts anymore, not even my sister's. 
You don't have to give up. Overcoming your mistakes, that's the key. It doesn't matter how many times you fail, if you succeed in the end. So keep trying, okay? I'm off to a bad start. I didn't make the effort to understand you. I didn't trust you and instead hid everything from you. No, that was the right thing to do. That wasn't the real me. And he was never someone you should have trusted. He was just a pawn in God's game. I'm sorry. Don't be. At least I've had this chance to be myself again, here at the very end. After all that's happened, it's enough. Do you remember when we first met all those centuries ago? Do you remember what you told me then? Keep your eyes front. I'll watch the rear. But I didn't. I couldn't. <sighs> oh, but you did. More times than you know. As long as you were with me, Light, I didn't have to fear anything. I'm not scared. Not even now. Because you're here. Hope! So, Hope, you've gone and left me behind. Or was it the other way around? Was it me who left you? I'll save you. Popo! Popo, Popo? What are you doing here? I can't leave you all alone, Koopo! I have a message for you, Koopo! And here it is. No matter what happens, keep your eyes front! Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you've got my back, right? You've got it, Koopo! It's time for the last battle, Koopo! It is. At the beginning of the final day, Vanille will start to perform the Soul Song. The ritual will guide the souls of the living to the new world. But the burden will be too much for her. Vanille will die. She will, Koopa? But that can't happen, Koopa! She's being used by the Order. She doesn't need to perform the Soul Song. She has the power to save the souls of the living and dead. Oh, does that mean she can save Sarah too, Koopa? I think so. If Hope is telling the truth. If I can grant her wish and make it true, then she'll come back at last. At least that's what he said. God himself wants Vanille to complete that ceremony. If I stop her, I'll be defying his will. Then I don't know what will happen to Sarah. I know what Sarah would say, Kubo. She wouldn't hesitate. She'd say, do what's right. Help save all the souls. Yes, I know. She's always been like that. If someone needs saving, she just goes ahead and does it. No matter how dangerous it is to her. Yeah. Just like your big sister, Kubo. And that's why... That's why I'm worried about you too, Koopo. Don't worry, Mog. I'll be fine. I'm going to do what Sarah would want me to do, what she'd tell me to do. I'll make her wish come true, and she'll come back.
voices in prayer. Children of the light, come gather ye to the final place. Pray to the Savior, she heralds the end. Pray to God in all his great glory, for he built a paradise anew. <laughs> is a privilege reserved for a select few. The people who died in the past are going to be erased forever, like they never existed. The trouble is, though, the souls of the dead are bound to the memories of the living. Because we remember them, they can survive in the chaos. We're custodians, and our job is to keep the flame of memory burning. That's why the souls don't just melt into the chaos, because they're still remembered by us. They have an identity that keeps them alive. But if we forget them, they're gone forever with no hope of coming back. And it works the other way, too. If the soul of a dead person is destroyed, then our memories of that person disappear, too. Gone from our minds like they never were. Imagine forgetting everyone who once lived. It's more final than any mass murder. But... that's exactly what the Order is going to do with the Soul Song. The Neil has the power to summon all the souls to her. When she does, the Order will use the Clavis to destroy them. When it preaches purification, that's what the Order really means. But why would they wipe out the past? To get rid of all the sadness and uncertainty. All those regrets that hold us back and make us weak. They want us to start with a clean slate so we can be strong in our bold new world. And you know what? That's what God wants, too. Does Vanille know all this? Not all of it. The Order's kept her in the dark. As far as she knows, she's just releasing the dead from their suffering. She doesn't realize that when she does this, not only will the dead disappear, but so will our memories of them. <sighs> just keep me in your thoughts. Remember me. And we'll see each other again. No matter what happens to me. Even if I vanish from this world. <sighs> Promise me, Lightning. Promise you'll remember me. If this ritual happens as the Order wants, my memories of Sarah will disappear. And when that happens, I'll lose any hope I had of bringing her back. Mm-hmm. She'll be gone forever. <sighs> then there's only one thing to do. I have to get into the cathedral and stop that ritual. <sighs> what are you doing? Don't go! I have to. I'm out of time. Don't take everyone with you! <sighs> saves no one. The Order can't save the dead. That's something only you can do. You and only you have the power to guide those souls into the future. I have to get to the Cathedral before the ceremony starts. Intruder! Halt! For God Almighty! <laughs> This is 
look right. The Shadow Hunter! Here? <laughs> You're the servant of God. Aren't you supposed to be on the Order's side? I'm not a servant of these fanatics. They want to go through with their damn ritual, and I'm here to stop them. If that means a fight, so be it. But the ritual is God's plan, right? You're going to defy him as well? Yeah. Maybe I am. <laughs> That's a hell of an admission. Do you care? God brought you back to save souls and show them the way to the new world. It's a sacred mission. And there's only one thing in the world that would make you turn your back on it. Lightning. I know why you're going to betray God. <laughs> Think you can save Sarah? Wait, let's get her! No! Run! Don't let her escape! Lightning! The ceremony that Vanille wants to carry out. How much do you know about it? Just what I told you before. It's supposed to bring all the souls of the dead into one place, and then make them all disappear. The Order says it's the only way to end their suffering. <sighs> but it's going to kill her. Yeah, and there's something else. They haven't told her what she's really capable of. She has the power to guide those souls to the new world. If she guides them, they can be reborn. They can? Then what the hell is the Order doing? Those souls don't have to be destroyed. And Vanille doesn't have to be sacrificed to do it. The Soul Song was never about bringing peace to the dead. It was about making things easier for the survivors. If they succeed in destroying all those souls, then the living would forget they ever existed. The Order wants to cut them away like a tumor, then we'll be free from the dead weight of the people we used to love. <sighs> that was their plan from the beginning. The bastards want to pretend their sins never happened, so they can breathe easier. And just for that, they're willing to kill Vanille, in the name of a lie! I'll save them all! Are they the souls of the dead? They're gathering here because of Vanille. Come on, Fang. Vanille, open your eyes! You have to stop this, you hear me? Don't stop me! The dead hear the Sacred One sing, and gather about her in their millions, for they seek eternal rest and repose. The light of God shall rain down upon them, the light shall be His voice, His words become redemption. The dead shall be released from their pain. The souls have been trapped in the chaos. They've been suffering without any hope of being reborn. I have to do something. I can't leave them like this. That's right. You can't forsake them. Which is why you have to stop this. Vanille, this ritual is going to destroy every one of these souls. They'll be forgotten. 
as if they never existed. She's telling the truth. No one will know they ever lived. The Order has been lying to you from the beginning. <gasps> but the Soul Song is supposed to help them. If they end up being forgotten, they won't be saved. Sacred One, God has spoken to us and told us His wishes. He demands pure souls with hearts of light. Those who could not survive the long centuries are not part of God's great plan. Our minds must be unclouded, our hearts free of regret. God is wise and mighty. We shall be born in the new world, our shackles cast off, blessed in the purity of His light. Do you hear that, Vanille? That's what they really want. Salvation for themselves, oblivion for the rest. Vanille, if you go through with this, your sacrifice won't mean a thing. I don't care what happens to me. It doesn't matter. I just want a chance to make up for what I did. So many people died because of me. I can hear them even now. They're crying out all the time. Their grief and sorrow. I feel it all. Damn it, Vanille. You weren't responsible. I was. Vanille. I get it. You want to atone for something. You think this soul song is your chance. And if you purify the dead and die with them, you'll have made everything right again. But listen, not to me. Listen to the dead. Yes, their pain is real. But do they really want your sacrifice? The dead have spoken! You're going to destroy them for a convenience, and they want justice! Ah! Protect the Sacred One! Did you listen to the dead? Yes. They spoke of sadness and regret. But also... hope. They're begging for their suffering to end. But... No matter how much pain they feel, none of them asked to be destroyed. Not a single one. Being amongst them is like drowning in tears. But there's hope there too. They want a new future. They want to live again. The sound of true despair is silence. When all hope is gone, that's when people stop raging against their fate. But the dead, they're still crying out against it. It's because they haven't given in. They still have hope. And I didn't listen. Instead, I was gonna perform the soul song and destroy them forever. <laughs> it would have been a hell of a mistake. But there's still time to make it up to them. There is a better way, Vanille. You can lead them to safety. Show them the way up into the Ark. Once they're there, they will be reborn into the new world. You think I can do that? Someone told me you can. But... It'll be dangerous. She means you've got to risk your life. You and me both. We'll do it together. Yeah. I, I won't do the soul song. I'll try to guide them instead. All the souls will be reborn in the new world. You cannot! 
the soul song is the will of God. Who are you to defy him? He commands you to finish it! Nice entrance, hero. Yeah, it only took five centuries. <laughs> Look at the souls. <sighs> it's beginning. I've made my peace. We'll still be together. Death won't keep us apart. Souls of the Chaos, listen to me. It's happening now. The world is about to disappear forever. When you hear the bell toll, you have to fly up, into the sky, find the Ark. You can be born, every last one of you. My soul will burn. Let, Let the flames, flames of my atonement, atonement be your guide. The light will answer your prayers. Living and dead, all of humanity, come together now. Look up to the sky. And, and discover, discover the, the new world. world. Souls of the dead are saved. And yours too. Thank you, Lightning.
Sarah. The world will end with the last chime. Savior. Hostages to keep me in line. I don't care if you're God himself. I'm taking them back. I swear to you statue will lead you where you want to go. To the place where God is waiting, Koopo. Bonavelsa is beyond those doors? He sure is, Koopo. He's working to create his very own new universe, Koopo. Once inside, I'll no longer be in the human world. I'll be in a realm known only to the gods, and I may not return. <sighs> it's the final battle. You need to be prepared, Koopa! <laughs> Aren't I always? Thanks for being here, Mog. It is my pleasure, Koopa! No old thanks, no? Everyone came, Koopa! Did you know that would happen? Were you expecting them, Koopa? I didn't know they were gonna come. I just chose to believe they would. I had a little faith. I'm gonna do this for them. The new world should belong to humanity, not God. I don't care how powerful he is. I will destroy him. taken from you. I know you can do it. You're the only one who ever could. Yes. I'll get everyone back. Including you, Sarah. <laughs> it's almost over. Blood has to be spilled one last time. here. I want you to be our lighthouse. Koopo? <laughs> Sarah will need some sort of beacon to help her find her way back here, right? That'll be you. And when you see her, don't forget that smile. Leave it to me!
Benavelza, god of light. What is a human strength when measured against your power? It would be madness to fight you. But I am more than a human now, because I have been remade by gods. I will lead the dead and drag you down into the chaos. You're finished. He had a dream of eternity. It was always his desire that this world would last forever. He battled against all the forces that would bring about its end. But his dream was shattered. The world faced its death, and he couldn't stop it. Goddess Etra was destroyed, and the nurturing flow of life no longer seeded the world. Entropy advanced. But that's when he saw it. The swirling, invisible forces that breathed life into the universe. That gave form to raw matter. The life force that exists in all of us. The goddess took the souls of the dead and made them be reborn. She breathed life into each new generation. Yes, but when she was destroyed, that cycle was broken. After that, the world was doomed. So, God decided to do it over. Right. Build a whole new world. It would be a simple matter for the mighty Bunavelza. He has the power to shape matter and create any material thing. But what's in our hearts and souls has no form. Great though his powers are, he cannot create souls. Nor can he mold them. So he needed someone to help. A fisher of souls. A savior who would cast her net into the ocean of life. And gather those who were worthy of being born in the new world. She was God's servant. But not just that. God has bigger plans for me, doesn't he? Being the savior was just the first step. If I could complete my task in the short time I had, then he would know that I could carry out the real mission and replace the lost goddess. <laughs> Etro is gone, and she will never return. The new world needs a new goddess. One who can restore the cycle of death and rebirth. You must become the ruler of chaos. The goddess who takes the souls of the dead and places them in the hearts of the newly born. <laughs> I'll become a goddess of death, all right. But not the one you want. I'll be the goddess who kills you! <laughs>
grandeur of a new world born before your very eyes. Millions of human souls yearning for life, ready to be reborn. And yet, the moment of renewed life recedes. My glorious new world must be destroyed. After you went to all that trouble... It is your doing. You stopped the Sacred One from singing the Soul Song. The souls are poisoned, prisoners of their past and of their fates. What God has created, he can destroy. I shall burn it in an ocean of flame. Then you'll do it all over. Rebuild the world, the sky, even the people. But with no memories or feelings, and no past. The perfect people for my perfect world. Free, knowing only joy. Unfettered by grief and grudges. What you're describing isn't human. There'll be puppets that look like people. Punavelza. You're a god, but you could never see into our hearts. Yes, your souls are opaque to me. But that is precisely why they must be redone. What value can they have? If your souls are not known to God... that if you really were trying to save humanity, maybe I should help you, instead of fighting you. <clears throat> but I'm sure now! You think you can slay God? The Goddess of Death can! You've made me strong enough! Yes, Savior. You are to be my new Goddess. And so I prepared you with many trials. Show me your new Powers, let this be your final trial. Great and mighty pulse from far flung reaches come to me. Readers and shining Lindsay from distant depths come forth to me. Goddess to be born, bow thy head and open your heart to the benediction of God's light. Drink in the light and cleanse your soul. Surrender to the radiance. Divine love eternal. If I kill the God of Light, I become the Goddess of Death. Time's trial awaits. Prove your worth as a goddess. Drowning chaos! Give up. So, this is the 
true face of God. belongs to us. Belongs to humanity now. There's no place for you there. No. No. No! I will not accept it! I will not allow it! I feel it. I feel grief and pain. I feel anger! Goddess of death! I cast you out! you into the chaos with me! Never! Is that your last resort? Your final desperate ploy? Do you think you can survive me? The power of divine light is mine! It's too late for that. You have the power of a god, but you have the power of a human inside you as well. And now that human is going to destroy you! It's the final act in the death of a god! I bring you salvation! This is the last soul I'll save! Hope! I'll set you free! Don't leave. 
leave me. I don't want to be alone. Sarah. Not quite. What's in here? Me. You're not really her? <sighs> no. I'm just a fake made by God. I'm missing something important. Just like you are. Yes. It's true. God cut part of me away when I woke as the Savior. No. It wasn't God's doing. Do you want to know who it was? You. What? It happened a long time ago. You wanted so much to be strong. You wanted to grow up so fast, you got rid of everything that made you weak. So you'd never have to back down. So no one could ever make you cry. You locked your heart away. <clears throat> Remember? What you tried to do? You tried to kill me. You... You're me. Young. Weak. I'm Claire Farron. Her selfishness, her loneliness, her fear. That little bit of your soul that you couldn't accept. You look like your home. Like you belong in the chaos. I have no choice. Someone has to stay behind to keep the new world going. And that's how you hide your true feelings. You convince yourself with logic. You make it sound rational to cut away parts of yourself. You deserve to be alone. Sarah? Sarah! No! Wait! Don't go! Don't! Don't leave me alone! I need you. Help me. It's okay. We could hear you, Light. Let's go. We'll be together. Sarah, you came to save me. Even though you were never real. Yes. I was a fake. Sarah's soul wasn't inside me. But I could imagine it. I could imagine what the real Sarah would feel. That's how I did it. I tried to think the same thoughts as she would, and I imagined the love that she must have felt for you. God hadn't given me a heart, but even so, I could dream. It was just a lie, a fake. But the feelings became real. I love you. I always have.